the inland seas and around J Japanese waters is going to be unedible. In fact, it's already it's, they're having problems there. Which means that Japan's going to be sending its fleets out to plunder other areas of the ocean. So we're going to see an increase in illegal fishing by Japan because of that as they try to go to other places to take that. But also, there's nobody really knows what the, uh, how extensive this is all, all going to be. And, uh, you know, J the Japanese certainly can't be blamed for the earthquake or the tsunami. But the Japanese government can be blamed for sticking a nuclear reactor on the coastline, on a fault line. And one of the very positive things that come out of this, for the first time, so many Japanese people are beginning to question their government. And they know the government's lied to them over the years now. And that, I think, is a healthy thing. And uh, hopefully it'll happen. Because we've always had that problem with the Japanese as well. You know, the government says that you're eco-terrorists, so you must be eco-terrorists because the government cannot be wrong. And so I think that that's, that's certainly going to change. But um, it, it is a very, very uh, tragic situation. You know, we had a Sea Shepherd crew in Japan the day the tsunami hit. And uh, they were in uh, the Iwate pre Prefecture, and our crew leader, we were trying to stop the fleet of dolphins there. Our crew leader saw the water being sucked out of uh, the harbor, and he immediately got his crew up onto the hill, and they actually videotaped the entire destruction of that town. It was very tragic. Uh, but when they were coming out the next morning, they actually commandeered a Japanese fire truck, and they were trying to get out, and then they, they were trying to rescue people too. But they, they ran into so many Japanese people who were it's so generous you know, to them because, you know, they were fellow victims of this whole thing. And they said that that really hit home to them, just uh, that who the enemy was. And it wasn't the Japanese people. It was those small minority of people who were profiting off of the destruction of the planet there, the dolphin killers and whalers and that like this. And uh, so that brought us a lot closer, I think, to the, to the people of Japan, that shared experience. I think we have, we have a question over here in the back. Mr. Watson, my question relates uh, uh, to a world view and the question of whether or not it's time for a new paradigm. Given uh, the realization that over the last 30, possibly last 50 years, the, the problems are becoming more visible in terms of the damage that humans, as you pointed out, are doing to the planet at large, <clears throat> aside from the oceans, but across the board. Um, and efforts on the part of yourself and many other good people uh, is it reasonable to say that uh, that uh, uh, the consciousness of, of man is moving toward more toward corporations more toward uh, interest in profits and contrary to those those types of activities that can really reestablish a balance in ecology I don't think that the uh you know, the conscience of humankind is moving that way, but the people who are controlling this are certainly inclined towards that. The problem is, is that we're stuck in a system that we don't know how to change. I know we all consider our country to be a democracy. Well, most of us do. I don't. Uh, this is not a democracy. It's an oily, cratic, oligarchy. Government of the oil companies, for the oil companies, by the oil companies. And uh, you don't have much of a choice. You know, uh, when you become a citizen of this country, they ask you, one of the questions they ask you is, what is the greatest right that an American enjoys? And I immediately thought, hmm, must be freedom of speech. Now, the right to vote. I'm going, oh, well, great, I got a choice between a Republican and a dumb Republican. Yeah, it's hardly a, a Democratic choice. You know, I did vote for um, Barack Obama. Not again. I'm not going to vote for anybody again. It just encourages them. The, the, the fact is, is he, he, he promised us everything. He's the first president since Reagan to sell out the whales, you know. And uh, he, what he did down in the Gulf is basically just hand everything over to British petroleum. You know, I think when you get elected president, they take you into a back room and beat the crap out of you to tell you how reality is going to be. That's because true. you don't seem they don't seem to be able to do anything that they promised to do, you know. So. I don't know what the solution to that is, but we certainly need a more democratic system. At least in Europe, you got like 15 choices, and the Green Party gets 17% of the vote. They get 17% of the representation in Germany or even in Australia, but not here. You got it's a winner takes all, and pretty much they're both the same thing, really, when you look at it. Uh, so I don't know what, if the solution is going to be found politically. I think it can be found, however, through writers, journalists, through uh, for artists. Uh, through activists, that's what's going to change things. Great, we have time for one more question. 